flashback. Oh no, Jason's paradise. That's how I react to the look. <laughs> no, no, nope. F this movie. <laughs> the look of Sonic looks freaking atrocious. That's not Sonic. That's some freaking blue, like, creature thing. That's not Sonic. I, I, I can't think what he looks like right now because that's not Sonic. He doesn't have big eyes. He has little eyes and all that shit. Dude, I was, like, trying to give it a chance because maybe I thought maybe this movie could be a fun movie. But you know what? It's exactly correct that this movie will be the worst movie of 2019. This movie will be the worst movie of 2019. A few moments later. Sonic, a little ball of super energy? That's so much better. is the new video game based movie it's directed by Jeff Fuller and stars Ben Schwartz, James Marsden and Jim Carrey and this is based on Nintendo's famous game character Sonic the Hedgehog himself. So basically this movie is about Sonic the Hedgehog voiced by Ben Schwartz. He's basically now moved into Earth because he's from another world and he's in hiding. He doesn't want anyone to see him and then he just gets a bit lonely once in a while. Until he used of super speed, wiped out the entire power of the human race, and the government has hired Dr. Robotnik, played by Jim Carrey, to find Sonic. Yes, there's a lot to say about Sonic before the movie even came out. First of all, we weren't inside for Sonic the Hedgehog before that design, which we'll talk about later, because if you think about it, most video game movies suck. Yes, there are some good ones, like Mortal Kombat. Yes, it's cheesy, but I enjoyed it. And there are some okay ones like Tomb Raider and Assassin's Creed, but Mortal Kombat Annihilation, all those other video game movies I couldn't think about because I just don't want to talk about video game movies. If you don't know, video game movie based genre is probably one of my least favorite genres in movie history. I just never like video game movies. Just stay in the game console. But things get worse until the first official trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog came out, and we get this. <laughs> So Jeff Fuller pushed release date to now because it was supposed to be released last year But since everyone hates that design he wants to push the release date to this year to fix that design and thank God he did That's the smartest decision that Jeff Fuller has ever done But I still wasn't excited for the movie because it looks like one of those cliche You know cartoon in the real world type movies, you know movies like Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Smurfs Yogi Bear, you know those movies, Garfield the movie even, like just I hate that stuff where cartoon characters just go in the real world and they don't feel like characters that we know and love. Guys, thank god Sonic the Hedgehog didn't suck. I walked out of this movie, I was so relieved. I was very relieved after I saw Sonic the Hedgehog. I had a blast with this movie. Is Sonic the Hedgehog a perfect movie? Absolutely not. It has its issues but thank God, this movie was a lot of fun. What is with this year? So many surprises that came out this year. Pretty weird year for movies. Let's start with what I liked about the movie. First, we gotta talk about the new design of Sonic. It looks great, I've said it before, but what about Ben Schwartz as the voice of Sonic? He was great in this film. I actually think he's a perfect voice cast for this movie. And the character of Sonic, I really enjoy. He's very likable. He's also kind of badass. Like, you see him doing his super speed stuff. It looks awesome to see, which we'll talk about that later. But him as a character, I really enjoyed. Also, James Marsden plays Sonic the Hedgehog's friend that he made. You know, it's another one of those cartoon into the human world cliches. They just made a friend, and then they just become friends at the end. But James Marsden did a great job playing that cliche character that I honestly didn't mind in this film. But, of course, the best character in this entire film is Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik. Of course. Of course Jim Carrey is the best part of this movie. He's probably the biggest... Spotlight of this film. I loved him in this film. Jim Carrey is back, baby. All right then. He just plays such an over-the-top character, and no one can play Dr. Robotnik so over-the-top perfectly, 
than Jim Carrey is. It looks like he has so much fun with this role, and I did have fun with Jim Carrey in this movie, and he's probably the skill shower for me. The action, for the most part, was a lot of fun. It's really cool to see Sonic the Hedgehog going fast. It looks great in this film. And also, this movie does make fun of a lot of fast-type movies. There's one scene that you probably knew that's going to be in this movie. It's a great spoof scene, and it's just hilarious to see. But Sonic the Hedgehog isn't a perfect movie. It has its issues. If you go in this movie expecting a masterpiece or a great movie, you're not going to get that. If you watch this film as a film, you're not going to like this film, because this film is way too cliche. There are a lot of moments in the film that I do expect coming, but it's not like I cared. It's like Bumblebee. You know, Bumblebee is a really good movie. It's probably the best Transformers movie, but it does have cliches like The Iron Giant and E.T. It has its copyright, like, cliches, and Sonic Hedgehog is like that, and I would say that bothered me just a little bit, and there's even some characters in the film that I'm not going to spoil because they weren't in the trailer, and they're just like, yeah, they're just side characters. But guys, overall, thank God Sonic the Hedgehog didn't suck. I think this is a really fun movie that has some hilarious scenes. I didn't mention that in the positive. This movie is also hilarious, especially from Jim Carrey. I really had fun with Sonic the Hedgehog. I had some good action. The casting was great. It's definitely the better design song that we got. Like, thank God the moods released that just did that design. I'm just imagining the whole film with that terrible design. Now I'm kind of curious to see that. But guys, kids will love Sonic the Hedgehog. It's also have some fun with it. So I would say go see Sonic, <laughs> go see Sonic the Hedgehog on the big screen. <laughs> so guys, that's my review for Sonic the Hedgehog. My God, thank God that movie didn't suck. Guys, let me know what you think of Sonic the Hedgehog in the comments below. And do you prefer the shit design or the new design? There's no shit for that, but I just wanted to know. If people like the terrible design, let me know in the comments below. And yes, my review of The Incredible Hulk is coming very, very soon. I'm going to review that tomorrow. So guys, make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Stardust, Instagram, and Twitter. Keep on talking to me and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel notified for my latest reviews. And have a nice day.